Good morning, good night, good afternoon, all that good stuff whenever you're watching this video. It's your boy Young HVAC and I'm here at Home Depot and um, I'm about to go shopping for you guys. Because today's video is going to be about 10 things that you're going to need out here in the field as a technician. Okay, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to take you guys with me, try to be as low key as possible and I'm going to show you guys where the tools at that you're going to need to succeed in this field. Let's get it. Right now, I am in the electric tools out I'm gonna get this video started keep in mind there's no order that these things you know come in there's I mean of course there's an order of importance but the order that I'll grab them in you know I'm just gonna be picking out 10 things that you're gonna need right away you know what I mean also keep in mind that there's a bunch of different brands but this is just what I'm finding in Home Depot you know what I mean so Take this list and if you wanna find something cheaper, as long as it gets the job done, but use this list wisely, you know what I mean? Also keep keep in mind what you put in is what you get out. So you know if you spend a little less for cheaper tools, they may not last as longer, but if you get something with some quality, it might last for a long time. Alright, so number one, I'm gonna kick it off and say you're gonna need a meter. You know what I mean? And not just any meter. You're gonna need one that can read what you need it to read. So for example, this meter has everything you need. It has capacitance, ohms, and has a clamp meter so you can read amps. Also has temperature so you can hook up the, the port in the bottom and you can read the temperature. This is like an all-in-one deal, you know what I mean? But the price, you, you see the price, there's different price ranges, $91 isn't that bad. I'm actually thinking about picking up one of these Klein meters, you know? Just cause Klein is a very reputable name, reputable brand. So that's number one right there. You're gonna need a multimeter, people. Take us right to number two. And I actually own this one. You're gonna need wire strippers. You see, this one is a multi-purpose. So, you know, you got, so, so you got kind of sort of a needle nose here. You got wire strippers. At the bottom, you also have crimping tools, you know? So this is like an all-in-one. I like to pack light. So in, instead of having all of those, you could just get this. Although I'd say a needle nose still comes in handy. But number two, Klein Tools. Coming in at 24 bucks, you're gonna need some good wire strippers. Number three, I'll just go ahead and add these while I'm here, you know? It's like, and people, I'm in the electrician tools. Cause you gotta keep in mind in HVAC, sometimes you're an electrician, sometimes you're a plumber. You do a little bit of everything. But number three, it's another client tool, but you can also find, you know, different brands. But these extended tips and magnet tips, but it comes with the two main sizes that you'll be using. Five sixteenths and one quarter. This is these things are gonna get you out of tight spaces, you know what I mean? The length of this, it's gonna guarantee that you can get into most spaces, you know what I mean? Cause some spaces might be far in the back. You gotta be able to reach that bad boy. So number three, you're gonna need nut drivers. Your two main sizes. These come in, in at 26 bucks. So I'm not gonna make this number four. So we'll call this three and a half, but this bad boy right here, stubby multi-purpose screwdriver and nut driver so you know how the other tools can reach you know spaces behind but sometimes in tight spaces you're gonna need something smaller this has got me out of so many tight spaces 
where I just knew that my regular nut drivers wouldn't fit, my drill wouldn't fit. This stubby right here, only coming in at nine bucks. It's a six in one too, if you can see that. It has flathead, Phillips. When you take those off, it acts as your two nut driver sizes, one quarter and five sixteenths. This thing is very valuable. And if you look right here, they got a killer deal right there. So the next thing I was gonna say is you're gonna need a thermostat screwdriver right here. Look at this, 1988, $40 value. Comes with not the nut drivers you need, but you know, a good flathead, good Phillips, but it comes with that stubby. These two are very important, stubby and thermostat screwdrivers, super important. All right, number four, super important tool, 11 and one. This tool, basically a everything you need, pack like, travel like type of deal. Comes with flatheads, Phillips, stars, all types of different shapes, LOL. And this, this screwdriver has your 1 4 5 16 and 3 8 Some of the basic sizes that you need Flatheads, Phillips. This is a great tool. Coming in at 15. Coming in at number five, you're gonna need adjustable wrenches. So whether you get one nice size or if you get a package, you're gonna need the Crescent six and 10 adjustable wrench set. I know you guys see me using these in the blower motor video. Number five. There's a bunch of different brands, but number six is an impact driver. This is what your boy is rocking with. Red is my favorite color, and also Milwaukee is a great brand to go with. But, and it comes with this 2.0 red lithium ion battery that lasts me about two weeks. If you're on a budget, you can get this one. It comes with an extender and your 516 and one quarter right there. That's all we need most of the time, 15 bucks. Number seven is you're gonna need some kind of light source. You know what I mean? There's so many different brands, but me, I recommend having at least two lights, one big light and a headlamp, because you might get into an attic, there's no light. So if you don't have light, you're gonna have a very hard time trying to use your cell phone. I've been through that. But yeah, whatever light you choose, you're gonna need lights. Here go some more lights, so headlamps. I got me a Husky one starting off just cause it's a really good price. And if you wanna be super safe, you can even get one of these little lights. They fit in your shirt, but they're really bright. Me, I just rock the lamp headlight combo. Number eight, you're gonna need some gloves. We deal with a lot of sharp things out here in this field, whether it's stores or what, but you're gonna need some gloves. When it comes to gloves, I personally own these. If you guys couldn't tell, Milwaukee is my favorite brand, dude. Like, that red and that black is just beautiful. But yeah, you know, and they have lighter versions, so you're gonna need some gloves. Me, I prefer something a little more thin so that I don't have to take off the gloves as, as much because I found that with thicker gloves, you know, I gotta take them off to use my drill or, you know, things like that. They're kind of uncomfortable. Number nine, you're gonna need some zip ties, electrical tape of any brand, and wire nuts. So, wire nuts can be used for repairs or just cleaning up a job because a lot of times other techs leave these off. So, these are very valuable. 
keep some. Last but not least, number 10, man. You're gonna need a bag to put it in. Once you get all those cool tools, you're gonna need a bag to put it in. There's tons of bags. Me, I like to travel light, so you'll catch me with a lighter bag. I'm a skinny dude. Some of this stuff is too heavy for me. I'm sure there are a ton of things that I left off this list. If there's something you think I might've forgot, then comment below. Keep in mind, there's no order of importance in this video because all these tools are important and one day you're gonna need them. You know, and this video is just based off of my personal experience. I'm an HVAC technician. And these are tools that I often need on a daily basis. Keep in mind that you don't have to buy the most expensive tools, but cheap tools, they come and go. You know, you wanna get the best for your money, so don't cheat yourself. Use some tools that are gonna last you a long time, you know what I mean? The quality of tools that you pick is totally up to you, but take this list and find cheaper options if you need to, but everything on this list, you're definitely gonna need it. The tools that I'm going over are just things that you can get from Home Depot. There are some very important tools that you may need that they may not have at Home Depot. I'll let you guys know what those tools are towards the end of the video. If there's anything that I left off of this list, make sure you guys comment below because I'm sure all the future technicians are gonna wanna see this. This has been 10 things that you're gonna need as a technician that you can get from Home Depot. But there are many other places that sell tools, but Home Depot, that's where I choose to shop. It's your boy Young H back, and I'ma go ahead and get up out of here. I'll meet y'all back at the van. Thanks for tuning in and coming shopping with me at Home Depot today. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for watching. It's your boy Young HVAC, and today has been a good day.